So imagine this. You've just spent hours perfecting your virtual farm on Stardew Valley and then BAM! Your computer decides to give up on you. Now why would it do that, you might ask? Well, let's spill the tea. The big bad wolf, Valve, has decided to stop playing nice with Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. Yes, you heard that right. It's like they're breaking up with your grandma's sweet, old, slightly glitchy operating system. They've decided to ditch the past and embrace the future, all shiny and chrome. And it's not just about the shiny. Apparently, it also has something to do with Google Chrome pulling the plug on these older versions. So, it seems our dear old Valve is just following suit. It's like a digital version of a high school drama. Only this time, the cool kids are giant tech companies, and we're the ones left dealing with the fallout. And what does this mean for you, the unsuspecting gamer who just wants to tend to their digital crops in peace? Well, let's just say it's not going to be a smooth ride. Well, folks, it seems the digital world is moving on and leaving our beloved old Windows versions in the dust. You can almost hear the tiny violin playing in the background. But wait, there's more. It's not just Valve that's giving the cold shoulder to our trusty old Windows versions. Google Chrome is also ending support. It's like a high school drama where everyone decides to break up at the same time. Oh, Chrome, our beloved browser, the one we've spent countless hours with scrolling through memes, binge-watching series, and of course, gaming. It's decided to join the bandwagon and call it quits with Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. It's like watching your favorite band split up because the drummer decided to pursue a solo career in jazz flute. What's that? You're wondering what this means for you, the steadfast user of these classic Windows versions? Well, imagine this. You're cruising down the information superhighway in your trusty old car. That's your Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 system. And then suddenly, the road just ends. There's a sign that says, sorry, no more updates. Good luck with the malware. That's right, folks. You're about to venture into the wild west of the internet, where security updates are as rare as a truthful politician. You might be thinking, oh, I'll just switch to another browser. Sure, that's an option, but let's face it. Chrome is like the comfy old couch you can't bear to part with. You've molded it perfectly to your backside. It knows your favorite websites, your darkest search history secrets, and let's not forget it's the gateway to your beloved Steam games. Switching to a new browser is like moving to a new city and having to make new friends. You can do it, but why would you want to? So, you'll be left missing out on the latest features, security enhancements, and, dare I say it, new emojis. So, if you're still holding on to your Windows 7, 8, or 8.1, prepare for a world without updates. It's like being stuck in a time loop where nothing ever changes. Exciting, isn't it? Now, if you're sitting there clutching your Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 and sobbing into your keyboard, don't despair. There's a solution to this madness. You see, dear friends, it's like being at a party where the host has just announced they're out of chips and dip. You could stick around munching on plain crackers and sipping watered-down soda, but wouldn't you rather head to the party next door where the salsa is flowing and the guacamole is freshly made? That's right, we're talking about upgrading to Windows 10 or 11. I know, I know, change is scary, but think about it this way. You wouldn't wear bell-bottoms to a hipster bar, would you? Keeping up with the times is crucial. And in this case, it's about ensuring that you can continue your epic gaming adventures without a hitch. So let's put it into perspective. Upgrading your operating system is like trading in your old, beat-up car for a shiny new one. Sure, you have fond memories with the old one, but the new one has heated seats and a sound system that would make a rock concert jealous. And let's face it, the clock is ticking. Microsoft themselves will pull the plug on security support for Windows 10 in October 2025. So, upgrading now is like getting a head start in a marathon. Now, I'm not saying you have to do it right this second, but think about it. Do you really want to be that person who's still trying to play the latest games on a system that's as outdated as a floppy disk? I didn't think so. So, folks, it's time to say goodbye to your old Windows versions. Remember, progress isn't about holding on to the past, it's about moving forward. Or, in this case, it's about upgrading your system before your virtual farm turns into a virtual wasteland. You've been warned.